Hello everyone, it's your girl D.E. Today's a special day. We're about to semi have some fun <laughs> in 17 hours. Um, yes, today is a day that I've been waiting for for a very, 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 very long time. So I'm happy to take y'all along with me and enjoy the ride. So, I'm going to find some water real quick. There's a little drama at the uh ticketing the line was like ridiculously long i got in the line they i get all the way to the front they told me i had to get out of that line and go to another line now mind you we got to the airport at like four something 4:45. hold on get in my water as you can see so get in the line wait in line they tell us get out of the line go back to a different line which the line was long as heck then the guy is like the flight attendant well it's not flight attendant but he works for delta he was like hey is anybody leaving at 6 a.m well half of us in the line were in their hand so he kept saying that over and over again but he wasn't doing nothing so then he finally said to him helping the people check in at the kiosk he start he went and signed on to the sign on behind the counter so when he signed on in behind the counter he was just like oh if you're six o'clock um come so there one per one person came like a couple came so then i was like you know what i'm going to and i was mind you i was in the back of the line so i, I pretty much hold on anyway back to my story um to make a long story short i cut everybody in line i was all the way in the back the gentleman who was assisting people for um, I guess getting their tickets or whatever he decided he wanted to go behind the counter and uh, start helping um, you know move the line a little bit longer but as soon as he got back there and he called one person to the front I literally went and cut everybody <laughs> and got behind the person that was next because if I wouldn't have did that, guess what? I would still be in um, Washington, D.C. But now we're in Detroit and we're gonna wait for our flight. And next stop is Japan, I'm so excited. But yeah, I almost got the fighting in there. No, I'm just kidding, I didn't fight. But you know, I had my boys, they had my back because the dude, he was, he was being extra. Like, I feel like no one else said anything and then this man is gonna come and be like, is there a line because i've been waiting so i'm like listen i was waiting too oh yeah and i was like and i got in the line and the lady told me to get out of line and go to the next line he was like oh i know because i was here we saw you okay <laughs> well my flight leaves at six it's like 5 10 and actually it boarded at 5 45 so i knew if i would have stood in the line in the back guess what i would miss my flight so sorry that you're upset and everybody else i upset in the line i apologize but um i've been waiting a long time to go to japan so uh yeah nobody is gonna stop me from going not not even someone who's angry with me you could be angry all day with me and whoever else but guess what i got on that plane didn't i here's some slippers that they gave us a blanket and a pillow Here's some of the food that we received, a pasta, tomato-based pasta. Um, there's like a corn salad, and then I think there's like a little pudding. And then we end up getting like a pizza roll, but I didn't care too much for it. Matter of fact, I don't even think I ate it. I think I might have took one bite and then I threw the rest of it in the trash because it was terrible. <laughs> Probably gonna get lost, but finally here in Japan. 
plan on having a good time. It took us forever to get out of the airport, but it's all good. Now we're going to check in. We'll find, try to find our hotel. Then we're going to check in. Then we're going to get something to eat because I'm hungry. tour of our room this first door right here is the bathroom yes and it has a whole bunch of buttons on here that I have no idea and there's a sink right there and then here's the bathroom um I actually like this bathroom. It has a lot of good space in here. The blow dryer is in here. There's a toothbrush, toothpaste in there. Razors, hairbrush, which I might take one of these. They look kind of cool. Um, shampoo. This is lotion. It's really sticky. And it doesn't work that well. And this is for the bath tub, which I'll be using again. It's very nice. Um, move this out the way. This bathtub, amazing. It has the bubbles. You can turn the little button on and the bubbles will come up. It's pretty cool. And then there's a standing shower. And then we always have fresh towels. And I've been utilizing these robes. They switch them out every time they clean the room, which is cool. Um, here's some of my stuff. Don't mind my stuff. Um, that. This is where the menu is at. Um, there's like these cords in here that, um, I guess you can use if you need to, um, charge your phone and stuff like that. But all these outlets are American outlets. Like the one down here. Let's see it. So, you don't really need anything to, like convert your phone because all the outlets are American outlets so it makes it great or US I don't know if I'm using it properly American US whatever you know what I'm trying to say um we have three beds it's three of us so it's nice to have three beds no one had to share a bed looking outside we don't really have a good view because they're doing a lot of construction out there um but still cool on the other side it has a better view of the little garden outside um but here's a couch in here um a little table yeah <clears throat> of course my kitties had to bring like all their electronics here the tv there's a refrigerator in here we haven't really eaten or drank anything that was in there we were just putting stuff in there ourselves every day they come bring fresh water which I'm gonna take because I need some water. But yeah, this room's pretty dope. I actually like it. If I came back to Tokyo, I would stay here again. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys outside. I walk through it during the daytime and I walk at night. I haven't gone during the daytime. Nighttime is beautiful. I'll insert some clips in there of the daytime. And the nighttime of being outside in the back, but it's very nice. There's a steak place that's out there too. We didn't eat any steak, so I don't know if it's good or not. But there's restaurants back there. Um, some of the food in the hotel is okay. I mean, it's edible. <laughs> it's expensive. Um, I'm knowing my bill is gonna be high, even though they just charge us to the room. So whenever I get hungry, I just order some food. So yeah, but the food is not cheap in here at all. And um, it's not really the best. Uh, well, I did get the penne bolognese. That was good. And the chicken and french fries was pretty good. I didn't like the pizza. I got the margarita pizza and they put like these big chunks of, they put the tomatoes, you know the tomatoes that you get in a little thing? It's like they cut a, 
pieces of tomato in half and just stuck it on top. So it wasn't like regular tomatoes. It was like the grape tomatoes that they had on the top. And no, 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 <laughs> no. So I didn't like that. But I ate it anyway because that was my first night here and I was starving. So I ate it. But it was not good. But the sandwiches are pretty good. They had these sandwiches. So they have the menu to where you can order like breakfast in the morning. Then there's like lunch and dinner is together. The latest is 9 o'clock. But then from 9 to 11, they call it like a light snack. And you can get these sandwiches. The sandwiches was bomb. I liked it, the sandwiches. Because they had one layer... They had one layer of tuna, one layer of um, cheese and tomato, and I think ham. I think it was ham and cheese and like a tomato or something like that. And then another layer was something different, but it was really good. I was actually surprised. I thought it was going to be like three different sandwiches. I thought it was going to be like one of the sandwiches was going to be tuna. And one was going to be this and one was going to be that. No, they had them all layered. It's pretty delicious. I don't know if it was because I was hungry because it was late night and I hadn't eaten. So I was starving, but I ate them. It was pretty good. But anyway, this last little tour of our room here at the one of the Prince Hotels. If you do stay at Prince Hotels, there's a bunch of them. So make sure you go to the right one because we definitely went to the wrong one when we first got here. But this one is the Sukura, Sukura, Sukura. This is the one with the cherry blossoms in the front. They don't all have cherry blossoms in the front, but this one does. So, but this is, I think that's why they call it the Sakura, Sakura, because that's, that's a cherry blossom. That's what that means. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I would definitely stay here again. The um, train station, as you will see, I'll put some inserts in, is literally down the street. So it's maybe like, I don't know, a five minute walk to a major train station. It'll take you anywhere you want to go around the city. So since I've been getting on the train, Kind of learn my way around a little bit. I'm not going to say I'm a pro or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But I can at least get myself back to this hotel. And as you can see, I'm by myself. So kudos to me. And I didn't have any internet this whole time. I had to connect to Wi-Fi. But after a few times getting on the train, we're kind of going to pass in the same stops over and over again. So I kind of figured out what line to get on and which train direction to get on. It's pretty simple after a while. So, thank you for coming to join me on my tour of a room. But yeah, definitely, definitely, I would recommend this hotel. Now, the price is pricey. <laughs> but it's worth the price, I will say. But it's pretty pricey. But I guess it depends on when you book, too. Because we're booking around the spring. This is like the springtime. So, yeah. I guess it's popular time to come. So, I'm, poor, I'm sure the spring and the summer the rooms are going to be expensive. Plus I got three beds. I mean, it's almost like a suite really, but, and I got a couch in here, you know, there's stuff in here. So it's going to be a little bit more pricier if you just got a one bedroom, but, um, yeah, it was, um, I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends on your budget, <laughs> but we're staying here for a whole week. So, you know, it, it can get a little steep after you, you're staying somewhere for, you know, a whole week and you're paying, you know, a good amount of money every night. So, plus, you know, the food at the end, you know, they'll tally all that up and put it on the end of the bill. So, <laughs> but it's all good. It was worth it. I would definitely stay here again. Definitely stay here again. Like, I really enjoyed my stay here. The staff is friendly. Um, every, all the staff members pretty much speak English. So, it's pretty cool. If you don't speak Japanese, no problem. Because pretty much... Everybody here in this hotel that works here speaks English or somewhat speaks English enough for you to communicate what it is that you need and what it is, and you'll understand what they're saying as well. So, but yes, comment down below if you uh, ever stayed at this hotel before, if you plan on coming to Japan.